all I'm hearing about lately are UFOs. Every time I tune into the news or open it, whatever, UFOs, UFO sightings, UFO this. So I thought we'd do a special on UFOs and see if anyone can convince me that aliens exist. I do not believe that aliens exist. Matt Walsh does. He tweets about it a lot. Like this one, intelligence officials now confirm that UFOs of non-human origin have been recovered in studies. At this point, the only reason to discount these reports is your own preconceived belief that aliens can't exist. The evidence is really overwhelming now. So that, uh, that thought is based off of a former intelligence official turned whistleblower who told Congress and the intelligence community inspector general about extensive classified information of a deeply covert program that he says has intact and partially intact craft of non-human origin. That's what they're calling it, craft of non-human origin. Or more likely just Chinese, but we'll get to that a little later. We used to call them UFOs, now they're called UAPs, Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena. So the Navy has a task force. It's called the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. And this guy, this whistleblower, was on the task force. And he gave Congress classified information, hundreds of pages, with specific data about the, what they call the Materials Recovery Program. Wow. So that's it, that's the big whistleblower thing. Of course, we haven't seen anything, but they, he gave it to Congress. So, if I may, and we're gonna have guests on today who are gonna try to convince me otherwise. So if you're yelling at the TV right now, no, Slater, aliens do exist. A majority of people think that, by the way. Majority, 50, I think it's 57% of people think aliens uh, exist. So uh, we have plenty of guests on today who are, who are gonna speak on behalf of you and try to convince me. Uh, I would say there's no way these are alien aircraft uh, and there are no aliens. So here are my reasons why I believe aliens do not exist. First, people do not understand how enormous the solar system is. When we think of the solar system, we think of charts like this from elementary school. Like, oh, here are the planets, and we'll just put them on the chalkboard. If that was to scale, if putting our planets in line was to scale, and Earth was the size of a pea, Jupiter would be a thousand feet away and Pluto would be 1.5 miles away. And the nearest star would be 10,000 miles away. So it'd be like three times the, the, the length of our country away if you were to do our planets to scale. If Earth was a P, Pluto would be 10, or so the, the nearest star would be 10,000 miles away. <laughs> if you were going on a rocket ship at the speed of light, at the speed of light, which is fast, it would take seven hours to get to Pluto. So later, that doesn't sound that dramatic. <laughs> okay, well that's at the speed of light. How about at the speed of a spaceship? It would take 12 years to get to Pluto. And I guess later, that still doesn't sound that dramatic actually. But by the way, when you make it to Pluto and you look back at the sun, it would be the size of a tiny pinhead. It would be a tiny little dot. You can barely even see the sun once you get to Pluto. But Pluto isn't even close to the end of our solar system. It's not even close. It may be the last thing we see on our middle school room charts, but it's not the end. To get to the end of our solar system, it's called the Oort cloud, O-O-R-T. In a rocket ship, it would take you 10,000 years to get there. So we can't get there, but we think aliens can. And then, when they do make the trip, at some sort of faster than the speed of light speed, when they do make the trip and come to Earth, they're only seen by people in Vegas. You're telling me the aliens made a 10,000 year journey and then crashed near the Vegas Strip and it got caught on a police body camera? What a buffoon of an alien that is. <laughs> you, ma you made it that far and you crashed in Vegas? The average distance between two stars is 20 million million miles. I didn't stutter, that was, that's a real thing. 20 million million miles. So even at the speed of light, you can't travel between stars. And we're supposed to believe that aliens zoom from star to star 
and then come to America and plant a crop circle in Kansas. It just doesn't, <laughs> doesn't make sense to me. Uh, just again, on the, the idea that the solar system is enormous. We, we think that there's, we can't really count them, but we think there's 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. Okay, that's our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is one of 140 billion other galaxies. You with me? So the nearest star, again, takes us 10,000 years to get to. There's 400 billion of them. That's one galaxy, and there's 140 billion other galaxies. Now, that's not proof that aliens don't exist, because you may be thinking, well, slightly, the fact that they're so, it's so big and we, can't, we don't even understand what's out there in the other galaxies, isn't, wouldn't that be proof that, that there could be something further out there and we don't even know? Sure. So I'm not saying, that, like, that's not proof that aliens don't exist because the galaxy is so big. That's proof that if they did exist, they're not swinging by Earth for a joyride and then zooming back home a hundred million years away. Or what, like, does that make sense? Also, they seem to only appear to Americans and Europeans. This is a chart of uh, UFO sightings. And we're, our next guest, he's like, big UFO guy. I'm gonna ask him about that. I'm gonna ask him why Americans and Europeans tend to be, these are, these are a, every, a dot for every UFO sighting. Why are they all in America and Europe? That's something in it. My second point, why aliens do not exist, is there's no way people can keep a secret. Let alone if the secret was an alien or an alien spacecraft. So here's the deal. I love a good conspiracy theory. I am more conspiratorial than ever in my whole life because we have reasons now to be cynical of everything we're told by authorities. But people are grabbing onto this conspiracy theory that the government has UFOs and, and they know about alien life and they're not telling us. That's the conspiracy theory, right? The government knows of UFOs, but they're not telling us. But now we have this whistleblower who came out and says he knows that we have evidence. Okay, that's the grand conspiracy theory. Area 51, the whole thing. Isn't it a way better conspiracy that the government is making all this up and they're telling us that there are aliens and telling us that there are spacecraft, alien spacecraft, telling us that there are alien life forms out there in order to scare us into supporting a unified one world government? Isn't that a way better conspiracy theory and also way more likely? I think we got a glimpse of this with COVID, right? COVID was a threat to everybody. It knows no borders. And COVID requires a, a unified global response. And then we all decided to act like China to it. Well, now the WHO has created the Pandemic Threat Act. And the idea is if there's another pandemic, we all need to act in a more unified global way. Okay. Well, what would require more of a unified global response than aliens trying to kill us all? So you, Americans, you may not want to sign on to one world government. But if the aliens are trying to kill us and we need to be unified against them, then of course you would. But no way the aliens would come trillions of light years away and then care if, you know, th this, these people are Russians and they're Americans and we're going to side with the Americans. Like, they'll kill everyone. So we need to put our differences aside and have a unified one world government. So if you want to believe a conspiracy theory about aliens, that's the one that the globalists are using the threat of aliens to change the game. No more sovereignty. It's not about the world anymore. It's not about uh, different nation states anymore. We're one world against this uh, existential threat. We're all the human race. It's us versus them. Elect me as president of the world. Also, let me throw one more thing your way before our guests. I want to leave our guests plenty of time. Wouldn't it be something, wouldn't it be convenient if there was a crazy, never before seen attack on Los Angeles? Like when we dropped the nuclear bomb, on Japan. That was otherworldly. Right? The people who saw that, or even saw the aftermath, were like, holy cow, what was that? Never seen anything even remotely like the atomic bomb. So let's say the Chinese have whatever the equivalent of that is 80 years later. Like the next level, not nuclear bomb, but like some laser, who knows? Like some crazy otherworldly like weapon. And they use it on Los Angeles. And Los Angeles just evaporates, gone. China could come back and say, whoa, 
Wow. <sighs> That's awful. Must have been aliens. Wasn't us. We, could, well, we can't do that. That's good. It was the aliens who did that. And we're like, what? You did it. No, I didn't do it. Must have been aliens. <laughs> and maybe we do that to them. Maybe that's why the government is uh, wanting us to think that aliens exist. There's no, so that's it. That's my take. There's no way aliens exist because why would they swing by and say hi to someone in Arizona then leave? And there's no way we have alien spacecraft. You couldn't keep that a secret. And if anything, the government is leaking this to scare you and to control you. And I'll just tell you one last thing. I asked our producer if we could get that whistleblower to tell the story of the alien spacecraft. Like the whistleblower I was telling you about, the guy who was on all these like task force of unidentified, whatever. Like, let's get him on and like have him tell us the story. Turns out that intelligence whistleblower needs to be cleared by the Pentagon. Why would the Pentagon have to clear, why, why would they ever clear this guy to give an interview? He's a whistleblower. Why would the Defense Department clear a whistle, like that's the point of a whistleblower is you're not cleared. You're blowing the whistle. That's not a whistleblower. This is a government propaganda campaign. You have to ask the government's permission for him to tell this top secret story of this deeply covert program where they have, are you kidding me? So in light of all that, I have two questions. Why does the Defense Department want you to think that there are UFOs? And then my bigger question is, why do we want to believe that there are UFOs so badly? Hey, I'm Mike Slater. Thanks so much for watching that clip. If you wanna see more truth like that, please subscribe to the first YouTube page. Just hit subscribe below.